Welcome to Solo Shop First, and today we're going to be having a look at the um, last of the figures that I got of uh, Wave 42, and it is Anakin Skywalker Padawan from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Now, it's a nice card back, first and foremost, I think. The image of, of Anakin is, it's obviously meant to be portrayed sort of pulled from the film, whether it actually is or not, I'm not 100% sure. It looks a little bit superimposed, but um, he's got that sort of very menacing sort of stare that he's got. Um, and it's a nice looking card back. Obviously comes on the uh, Attack of the Clones chase with the, the Star Wars racetrack around it. You've got the um, orange name pill with Anakin Skywalker Padawan. And then the figure obviously sits nicely behind, or sorry, in front of the orange background. So... It does stand out quite nicely. Um, you've got the warning, obviously, logo in the top right-hand corner as you look at it, the 4 plus age group is in the left, and the Kenner logo in the bottom. So in the packaging, the figure looks quite nice. Um, it is just that image as, as to whether that's actually just sort of been superimposed or photoshopped. But it is a nice-looking card back. Um, again, this is one part of these newer waves. This does come on the thicker, thicker card stock, so that's nice. Um, we'll have a quick look at the back of the card. Okay, so the back of the card is exactly what we've come to expect, obviously, as all of these sort of um, recent releases. So this is VC244. Um, it does obviously come on that lovely, uh, on the back, it's got the, the uh, Star Wars racetrack uh, with the vintage collection there in the sort of right hand corner and it looks at the other figures that are part of this wave so as part of this wave we actually had Reva the third sister Obi-Wan Kenobi the wandering Jedi obviously the Anakin Padawan that we've got here um, you had that Darth Vader from the Dark Times which uh, I think is probably the best Vader we've seen so far and then obviously you had the Mandalorian Super Commando um, a lot of that legal information on the bottom and I know I've mentioned it before and it's a bit of a shame that we don't get a little bit more of uh, information about the figure, but uh, let's go back and have a look at the front again. Okay, so one final look at the front of the card before we get this uh, figure out of the box. I said VC244. I mean, the one thing that, um, you know, as I just did mention on the back there, it is a bit of a shame that, that it would be good if Kenner gave us, again, a little bit more information about the, the figures like they used to do in certain lines as opposed to just all of that legal information. But will we ever see that again? Who knows? Very much doubt it, the way things are going. Um, but this is a it is a good-looking card. Um, all that remains to be seen is we get this figure out of the packaging and we'll have a look at him in a little bit more detail. Okay, so here we have the figure out of the packaging. Um, and I've got to say, it's a quite a, a nice-looking figure. I mean, I wasn't overly bothered particularly about getting this figure it was just obviously it came as as part of that wave and it's meant to obviously have that sort of photo reel um, head sculpt but I'm not quite sure that they have still nailed it in terms of the you know the the, the, the perfect sort of Anakin if you like um, I mean the one thing that you know we have had this figure before essentially as part of the black series in the 3.75 inch line and there were two anakins um released and the fundamental difference between the two was just basically one had sort of slightly lighter hair and the and, and the uh, the other one had a, a, a the, the sort of the darker hair this um sculpt obviously sort of does have that sort of slightly lighter featured hair the one thing that um is a little bit noticeable. I don't know if you're going to see it in the video. Let's see if we can scale in a little bit. I'm not sure. But that, I don't know if you can see this, this sort of strand of hair that sort of sits forward. It's, while it's a little bit flimsy, um, it still does sort of protrude quite a lot. Now, you know, maybe you can, I don't know, put it in a, put it in a bit of boiling water or whatever and manipulate it a little bit more. But it sticks out a little bit. But I mean, it's a, it's a minor gripe. Um, the one thing that obviously this, this does have, which is a nice um, addition really, is it does obviously sort of come with that soft goods cape. Now, that isn't particularly sitting brilliantly, but it's it's just come out of the packaging. So that's not, you know, that's to be expected. In terms of um, 
you know, the look of the figure itself on the back, obviously not too much to report when you've got the cape on. I can just pull that up and see. But I think it looks, I mean, pretty much this is a repack of, of what we've had. In fact, I would say it's a complete repack, possibly, of what we've had in the uh, the 3.75 Black Series line, other than the additional photo reel um, head. But, I mean, look, it's a welcome addition. Um, you know, I think some of those Black Series figures are, uh, are quite difficult to get hold of now. Um, you know, and if you do like your Anakins, then obviously this is a welcome update. In terms of the articulation... Obviously, this sort of being a, a, probably essentially a repack, it's, it's not got all of the bells and whistles, but it's got everything that you would need from a, you know, a 3.75 super articulated figure. So obviously, you've got the, the head that moves up and down side to side. You've got articulation at the shoulders. You've got articulation at the elbows. Um, and you've just got a swivel at the wrists. The legs obviously do move um, just below the, the sort of the thigh there. Um, and this is obviously the sort of hard goods on the bottom there. So um, he's got articulation at the knees with a bend and then just a, a sort of articulation. Let's just see. Oh, actually, there, yeah, apologies. There you go. He actually has had the updated rocker ankles. So that's a nice touch as well, actually. Um, what you actually get with this figure, uh, it does come with his traditional blue lightsaber and that's quite a nice blue not too much detailing on the actual lightsaber hilt itself but it's a nice lightsaber you get separately a hilt which again just pops into the belt there around his waist and the other thing that you do get that comes with it is this uh, hand his mechanical hand which you see at the end of Attack of the Clone. So you can swap that one out if you like for his right hand. But overall, um, not masses and masses of updates to this figure, but you know, at the end of the day, it is still a welcome addition with the soft goods, maybe the slightly enhanced features on the face. So that really sort of completes my Wave 42. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, there'll be more videos coming shortly. And if you've got any questions or comments about the figure, good or bad, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.